any minute now. You know that feel of it, that feeling of uh, anticipation that's in the air. You know this uh, winter breeze. You know the snow's coming down. It's the first snow here in Indiana, at least. But you get that feeling of anticipation. You know, like I spoke about in my last live. You know, in the air. Any minute now, right? You got these movies coming out. Predictive programming. Speaking about, you know, civil war and, you know, T era attacks, uh, internet shutdowns and, you know, power, power grid shutdowns. It feels like any, any minute now, anything could happen. They just found all types of IEDs on the border. Uh, bombs pretty much so any minute man giving all praises honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rehakak Wadash, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rehakak Wadash. <laughs> Any minute, man. It's lucky. Any minute. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, But of the signs and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay, so our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is about to come as a thief in the night. And everybody's not ready. Nobody's ready. They see all the signs. They can feel the anticipation in the air. <laughs> but the Lord's going to let loose judgment on this place, man. Everybody can feel it. You know, there's food scarcity, homeless rising, migrants crossing the border at uh, record number numbers. Uh, they're finding uh, I, IDF or I, IEDs, which are like bombs. Uh, they're finding uh, different bombs on the border. <laughs> Um, there's sleeper cells here in America. Um, people are losing their jobs at a alarming rate. You know, people are on the very edge of suicide. People are on the edge of just taking somebody out. You know, you can't really talk to anybody. Everybody's, you know, the, the love of many is wax cold. So the feeling that's in the air, that feeling of anticipation, it's like any second now, any minute now, something can happen. And us brothers, we know that the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. So it ain't going to be like it's going to be for everybody else. For us, it's going to be that Isaiah 33 and 6, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. We're going to be stable just because we know what's going on. Just because we have faith, more importantly, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And more importantly than that, we have fear of the Lord. We know what he do. Going back to Isaiah 45 and 7, the Lord says, I kill and I make alive. What, what, Isaiah 45 and 7. Any minute now, man, I'll, go, I'll come back. Let me make sure, because that might be the uh, Deuteronomy scripture. Yep. This is, uh, that was the Deuteronomy. Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, uh, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let's read it in the NLT. Isaiah 45 and 7 in the NLT. So we're going to know that the Lord is the one killing people. The Lord is letting these things happen. The Lord is causing this chaos. Going back to 2nd Edges 15 and 2nd Edges chapter 16. Those whole, those whole chapters. Those two chapters, man. Okay. Going back to Jeremiah chapter 30. Any minute. Any minute now, man. Like, you can go to work and, and something will happen while you're at work. And, you know, there'll be alarms going on outside. And, you know, just shut this motherfucker down, man. 
uh, EMP go off, you know, all the computers, you, you, you definitely ain't getting paid on Friday. Any minute now, man, and this shit could just pop off just like that, man. They got solar flares, you know, all these signs that are spoken about in the scriptures, these signs in the sun, signs in the moon and in the stars. Earthquakes up in diverse places. The earth is uh, the earth is mourning, and the people that are on the earth. So any minute now, the the, the Lord's gonna come here, man. Any minute now, like they can they can start this shit off with that chip. You know, cause an EMP attack somewhere, and 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 ultimately to get you in the camps and get you chipped up. That's what their plan is, man. They want to. For, they gonna put it in you, man. They're trying to figure out a way to shut down all these banks and everything to try to force that chip on you, man. It's all about that chip. As soon as they do that, we know next is the World War Three, man. But through Jacob's trouble, I think that's how what they they're gonna let shit rock in this place. That's that's why it's a squeeze on you people right now. That's why you, you know, more and more of you are uh, going to Dollar General instead of Kroger. <laughs> you in the you in the dollar store and shit buying your food, okay? Cause you can't every, you can't afford everything, man. So it's like any minute now, man. Somebody might get a bill. It's too much. They might blow their fucking brains out. They 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 might blow their brains out. Their their kids, everybody just kill everybody, man. Definitely a white person. So we living in those days. Any minute now, man. Mass chaos. You're going to see dead bodies on the ground, man. You ain't even going to be able to... You're going to walk right past them. You're going to get used to seeing them. The smell of them. The smell of the blood. You're going to be able to smell it from a long ways away. Any minute now, man. How's it? 45 and 7 in the NLT. It says, I create light and make the darkness. I send good times and bad times. So the Lord sends the good times. And the bad times, man. I, the Lord, am the one who does these things. So, you're dealing with a power that flooded the whole earth, man. You're dealing with a power that flooded the whole earth. First Thessalonians 5 and 3, and it says, For when they shall say peace and safety... So whenever they're saying everything's good, don't worry about it. Everything's cool. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. Okay, so that travail upon a woman with child is talking about birth pains, man. Right now are the birth pains. Right now you're getting the... The constant, uh, whatever they're called, you know, a woman that may watch this video. It's called birth pains, pretty much, you know. Contractions, yeah, that's what it's called, right? You know, I'm not a woman, so I don't I know how that feels, but I've seen women in, in great pain, okay? Especially when my daughter was being born. Okay, so any minute now that baby going to be born. And what's that baby in this case right here? Destruction, chaos, perplexity. Okay, any minute now, man. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. And 6, and it says, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness, man. So, grown men. Okay, men that can bench 500 pounds, you know, with their hands, you know, you know, after somebody's, you know, got done running and they're out of breath and they bend down and their hands are on their knees or, you know, we're, we're, we're living in that time whenever, you know, people are going to be on the run. Any minute now, man, this is, you know, you got militias out in the woods right now preparing for this day, for this time that's coming. It's birth pangs, man. This this baby about to be born. That baby called destruction. Chaos, perplexity, distress, famine. 
You know, people hungry, eating one another, man. You know, women eating their children, like the Book of Lamentations says. Women boiling their kids, man, for lack of bread. Well, the city, cities uh, tr shall be troubled for for their great pride. That's what the scriptures say. Book of Second Edges, chapter nine, I think. So this this time is coming. It says, verse seven, alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. So this is going to be a day worse than slavery, worse than anything you could ever think of, man. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The elect are going to be saved. Everybody else, man, the Lord's going to use death angels to purge. To purge this land, man, from its corruption. I mean, the earth is mourning, man. The, the days are dreary and uh, they're, they're all gloomy. It don't matter if it's sunny outside, man. They're all, it's like a, it's a, it's a feeling of a, it's a gloominess, like a, a dull spirit, like a, a wicked, evil, black cloud over the whole fucking earth, man. Especially over America. You, know, you ever see that Chucky movie? Whenever they, they calling on that damn spirit, they talking about Ah De Dewey, Dembella, or some shit like that, man. That's that's that 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 same cloud, with that lightning. That's over America right now, man. These wicked elites are. In the, in the form of Chucky uh, putting, uh, trying to put a spell in somebody or some shit, man. Any minute now, man. Okay. That's the time we're living in, man. That's the time we're living in. Let me get one more. Um, let's get this one real quick. Then I'll close it out. Look at that, Second Edges, chapter nine, and uh, yeah, we can get the rest of that. Second Edges, chapter nine. Actually, let's get sixteen. Talking about them arrows, man. This is uh, Second Edges, sixteen, and uh. Three and it says a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Okay, what's that sword? Okay, the Lord created the sword. The Lord, you know, a sword. Okay, basically Esau, Edom, so-called white man, he was given the sword. That was his blessing. But hey, it says a sword is turned. So the Lord gonna let loose these Edomites, man. They're gonna have their heart's desire upon Jake. Okay, they're just gonna start killing you niggas, man. They're killing niggas, killing the children, killing each other, white man against white man. There's going to be race wars out here, uh, pol political wars, people that do pol politics, Democrat, Republican wars, all types of shit out here. Migrants fighting against other people in the cities. Chinese people fighting against the white folks, the black people. They really want Jake. You know, Indian, our Indian brothers getting their share in there, you know, whooping a white man ass. Yeah, they said a troop show. <laughs> Uh, overcome him, but he will overcome at the end, man. So any second now, man, the Lord gonna unleash this, these damn devils. Let them do what they will in this place, man. Mass chaos, ain't no order. No order, man. And you can feel it in the air. That's what's about to come. It says a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? You're not gonna be able to stop it. Second Edges 16 and 4. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? You're not going to be able to quench this fire, man. Okay? It says, Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Okay, the plagues are sent, man. C19, C23, C25. Okay, they're already uh, digging up uh, zombie V I R uses. If you, if you, V I R. U.S.'s, you know, they digging up zombie, V.I.R.U.S.'s pretty much, man. Got to watch what we say. Now, why would they dig that shit up, you know? And they used to have it on the website for the W.H. Izzo, you know? Zombie preparedness. They probably took it down already. That's why they destroyed those Georgia Guidestones, you know, maintain humanity. 
up under 500 million any minute now man so <laughs> it's about to be mass death in the streets man second edge of 16 and 6 may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood and, and who's hungry man those Edomites they hungry for blood they, they tired of Trump are they tired of uh, Biden you know they want Trump in there they, they hate you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. They want blood. You, you can feel their energy whenever you go around them, man. They want blood. You can feel how, how, how pissed off they are, man. And we're pissed off, too. You know, they, you know, it, it, it's the same feeling. But we're not pissed off because of this stupid system and polit politics. We're just pissed off because you guys are in power still. The Lord is vexing us with that. He's, he's making us vexed so that we can be pissed off like he is. So guess what? Ain't nobody driving away a hungry lion in the wood. When Esau get loose, he gonna get loose. The Lord said, uh, oh, Assyrian rod of my anger. Okay. The scriptures also say, uh, I think it's in the book of Psalms. What is it? Uh, Hide me from uh, my enemy, which is thy sword. I think it roughly paraphrasing what script, what a uh, psalm that is. King David was speaking. Thy sword, yeah, Esau eat him. Okay, so-called white man is the sword of the Lord. Okay, all he does is kill, man. That's what he does. He's good at killing. He kills people with, with different stuff that's in the air, chemicals and all types of shit. Bombs dropping on different people, threatening people. The food, the water, everything, man. Music. It says, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn. May one turn again an arrow that is shot of a strong archer, and that arrow is filled with famine, death, and destruction, pestilence. And it's being shot. It's being shot out, man. Scriptures say, going back to second address, I think it's uh, going back, you know, a few chapters. It said the, 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 the fire being off sent out. Okay. It says, who can... Who is he that can drive them away? It says, The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that may drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? You can't quench the Lord's wrath, man. He said, uh, the scriptures, he said, uh, I have long time holding my peace. Now will I cry like a travailing woman, man. <laughs> man, oof. Any minute now, man. Any minute now, man. Yeah. It says, He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence, man. Y'all better get ready to meet meet your maker, man. How about Shimmy I was shot, man? He's about to get busy on this place. Okay? Repent and, and, and you know, get right with Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Call him Yahweh Shai. Stop calling him Jesus Christ, man. That's not his name, man. And you know it. Everybody knows it, man. So with that, hey, Shalom.